Hello and welcome to The Quiet Time. My name is William Hayes. I'm a minister in the Presbyterian Church in Ireland um, and I minister in two little congregations called Mount Melick and Tullamore right in the very centre of Ireland. This Quiet Time is a, a moment out of our day to be able to take some time in Mark's Gospel and um, to be able to pray to God and to be able to take some time to, to listen to him as well as we read his word. I pray that you're blessed through all that we do. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, we pray that you would bless this time that we have together, reading your word and sharing together in it. And we ask this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. So we've been reading through Mark's Gospel. And yesterday we had the parable of the sower. And then following straight on from this, we have another couple of little phrases of Jesus put together. Jesus said to them, Do you bring in a lamp to put it under a bowl or a bed? Instead, don't you put it on its stand? For whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed, and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Consider carefully what you hear, he continued. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you, and even more. Whoever has will be given more. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. Amen. And may God add his blessing to this reading of his word. What do you like whenever you're given good news or, or information? Especially if you're given important information that, um, that tells you about some way that you could benefit or that, that other people could benefit. Are you the kind of person who instantly thinks, right, I need to hold on to this and get the best out of it myself and, and then maybe we can we can share it with the world? Or are you somebody that instantly hears something that's good for you and for the, the rest of the world and you're off sharing it with everybody, even if they don't want to hear it twice? Jesus here talks about something that, that we might find a bit weird and a bit difficult because here he he talks about people who take the word of God and then hide it away and tuck it away. And we might find that a bit strange. So much in our society is so used to the idea of the, the church going out and telling people about Jesus, the, the whole idea of the, the church being a body of people who want people to know about Jesus. And that's true almost regardless of which variety of Christian you are. Even the, the most fundamentalist Christians want to go out and, and tell people about God. Even the most liberal of Christians want to be able to example by their behaviour and go out and tell people by their words about the, the goodness of God and they, they want people to know about him. Even people who might have qualms about the idea of going to someone of another faith and, and trying to convince them to be a follower of Jesus, they might have difficulty with that. They might not want to convert people of other faiths, but even then within Christianity, those people still want to witness to Christ by what they say and what they do. You do get some religions, though, that are closed. Some religions don't allow people to come in or they set a whole stack of barriers in front of people coming to join. And some sects of Judaism, some bits of Judaism in Jesus' day would have been like that. And Jesus is saying this is completely different from that. That the kingdom of heaven is open and for everybody. Now, I was saying that you know, that everybody who is a Christian, by and large, tends to want to share that word. But there are times, aren't there, whenever we set up barriers to the word being shared. We love to stay within our holy huddle in church. 
we love to stay within like-minded people. We find a good group of Christian people and we stay within them, sometimes even to the, the extent that we will exclude somebody who comes into that group who is not a Christian or who doesn't share our beliefs. Sometimes we will do that in order to maintain fellowship. Sometimes we will do that because such and such a person is a negative influence. But we can end up being just like the kind of exclusive religions that Jesus is talking against here in this little parable. Sometimes we might never deliberately go out to do that. But actually the way that we behave, the way that we think, the things that we do, end up creating a barrier around us that says, don't come near, don't enter our holy huddle, don't have anything to do with us because you're not like us and you're different. And here Jesus warns about that. He says, consider carefully what you hear. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you and even more. And so he's just said here, don't conceal things. And he said, go and give away what you have. Give and give and give. And with the measure you use, you will be given more. Let's keep our faith open. Let's reach out to all around us. And let's be clear that Jesus calls us to share that faith of others. And if anything gets in the way of that, we declare it an idol, an obstruction, and we move it aside. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you did not keep eternal life to yourself, but you came into the world to give us this new life, this abundant life, this eternal life. And Lord, we thank you for that. And Lord, we pray that we would not keep that to ourselves, but we would desire to share with others, to let them know who you are, to let them know who we can be in you, that we are broken, forgiven sinners brought before God and made right. And we thank you for that grace and that glory. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you for sharing with me today and I pray that God's blessing would be upon you. God bless you. Goodbye.